This video will cover the basics of carbohydrates. We will cover what carbohydrates are, types of carbohydrates, their health benefits, and special considerations for managing blood sugar. Carbohydrates are sugar molecules. They are a type of macronutrient along with protein and fat. Macronutrients are nutrients in food that our bodies need in large quantities in order to get enough energy. Carbohydrates are found naturally in many plant-based foods, such as grains, fruits, and vegetables. There are two main types of carbohydrates. There are sugars, often called simple carbohydrates, and complex carbohydrates. Sugar is the simplest form of carbohydrate. They are found naturally in many foods, including fruit and dairy. They are also the main ingredient in added sugars found in many processed foods, such as soda and candies. Other types of simple carbohydrates are refined grains, which include foods made from white flour, such as white bread and pasta, along with white rice. Starches are a type of complex carbohydrate. They are the main source of carbohydrates for most people. Starches are made from long chains of simple sugars that our bodies have to break down to use for energy. Foods that contain starches are grains like wheat, oats and rice, legumes like dried beans, lentils and peas, and starchy vegetables like corn, peas, potatoes, and winter squash. Fiber is another type of complex carbohydrate. Our bodies are unable to completely break down and digest fiber. Fiber is found naturally in fruits, vegetables, grains, and beans. Whole grains are grains that contain all the edible portions of the grain. This includes the endosperm, germ, and bran. Whole grains have more fiber and vitamins and minerals than refined grains. Refined grains are grains where the germ and bran are removed, leaving only the starch without the fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Refined grains are often enriched during processing, which adds back some of the vitamins and minerals that were removed along with the fiber. Whole grains include whole wheat, brown rice, oats, quinoa, barley, and corn. Reading the nutrition facts label can help you understand the amount and type of carbohydrates it has. Total carbohydrate on the label includes all three types of carbohydrates, sugar, starch, and fiber. Below total carbohydrates, you will find added sugars. This is helpful to distinguish between naturally occurring sugars in the food from added sugars during processing. Dietary fiber is also included on the food label. Adults need between 25 and 38 grams of fiber per day. A good source of fiber has two to four grams of fiber per serving, and an excellent source has five grams or more of fiber per serving. Checking the ingredient list on packages is the best way to know if a food contains whole grains. Look for words like whole wheat flour, whole grain, stone ground whole, brown rice, oats, or oatmeal. Multigrain may contain whole grains, but it is usually a mix of refined grains. Just like the term multigrain, terms like wheat and honey wheat do not mean they are whole wheat or good sources of fiber. When selecting grains, it is a good idea to make at least half of the grains you eat in a day whole grain. Why do we need carbohydrates? Although carbohydrates have a bad reputation, they are an important part of a healthy diet. Carbohydrates are the body's main source of fuel or energy. Starches and sugars are broken down into simple sugars by the digestive system. Once broken down, the simple sugars are absorbed by the bloodstream, where they are called, where they are called blood sugar or blood glucose. Glucose is then absorbed by cells in the body to be used for energy. There are two kinds of fiber, insoluble and soluble, and both provide important health benefits. Insoluble fiber helps keep our digestive systems regular and promotes regular bowel movements. Not eating enough soluble fiber can increase the risk of constipation. Insoluble fiber is in many plant foods, including whole grains, nuts, beans, and fruits and vegetables. Soluble fiber attracts and absorbs water in the digestive system. This helps slow down digestion and helps us feel fuller for longer. Soluble fiber can also help reduce diarrhea. Since it helps absorb excess water, it can help slow down bowel movements while also bulking stools. Soluble fiber is found in many plant foods as well, including oats, barley, peas, beans, and fruits and vegetables. Carbohydrates also play a role in disease prevention. Diets high in fiber can help reduce the risk of developing heart disease. One way soluble fiber in particular helps is by lowering the levels of cholesterol and triglycerides in the bloodstream. 
Cholesterol and triglycerides attach to soluble fiber in the digestive tract, which prevents them from being absorbed into the bloodstream. And since fiber is not digested, it moves through the digestive tract and is eliminated as a waste product. In addition to preventing heart disease, whole grains and fiber can help prevent or manage type 2 diabetes and certain cancers like colon and rectal cancers. When our body breaks down carbohydrates into sugars and absorbs them into the bloodstream, it is normal for blood sugar to rise after eating. Normally, this blood sugar will, de will decrease as cells absorb these sugars for energy. For people with diabetes, the body cells are unable to absorb the glucose for a number of reasons. This means that after a meal, blood sugar may remain high, which is called hyperglycemia. If someone with diabetes eats too few carbohydrates, they may have too little glucose in their bloodstreams, which is called hypoglycemia. Getting the right balance of carbohydrates is key for people with diabetes to prevent highs and lows. To keep blood sugar levels stable, it is best to eat a consistent amount of carbohydrates with meals. One way to help you eat consistent carbohydrates is by following the plate method. The plate method is a technique to better visualize and plan meals. The plate method recommends that you fill half of your plate with non-starchy vegetables, one quarter of the plate with protein, and the other quarter of the plate with carbohydrate foods. This balance is recommended for meals, snacks, and beverages. Having too many or too few carbs can make it harder for our bodies to manage blood sugar. Another way to balance our carbohydrates is pairing them with protein and or fat. Eating carbs with protein or fat slows down how quickly our body breaks down and absorbs sugar into the bloodstream. The plate method helps with this by pairing starches with the protein in a meal, but you can also apply this idea to snacks. Some snacks that work well are fruit with a hard-boiled egg or with peanut butter, or crackers with cheese. By adding protein and their fat, your body's blood sugar will increase more gradually than it would have if you ate the carbohydrates on their own. Choosing carbohydrates with fiber, such as whole grains, will also slow down how quickly our body absorbs the sugars from the carbohydrates, which helps keep our blood sugar more stable. This graph shows the effects that fiber has on blood sugar. A glass of orange juice causes blood sugar to increase rapidly since the fiber has been removed. The sugars in the orange juice are broken down and absorbed into the bloodstream rapidly. Eating a piece of whole fruit like this apple, on the other hand, will raise blood sugar more slowly thanks to the fiber, which slows down digestion. There are many health benefits to carbohydrates. Getting the right balance and type of carbs is key to a nutritious and balanced diet. Here are some tips to ensure that you're getting the most nutrition out of carbohydrates. Focus on fiber-rich fruits and vegetables. Make at least half of your grains whole grains. Eat more beans, peas, and lentils. Choose low-fat dairy products. And while there are no good or bad foods, limiting foods with added sugars can help improve your nutrition.